A very good morning to all, bringing to you news from across the country and the world. I'm Shanali Silva, coming to you live and direct from the ITN studio. Before we go into our leading stories, let's take a look at our headlines. The Colombo Ford Magistrate issues warrants for the arrest of former Minister Ravi Karanayaka and nine others. The President instructs the officials to formulate scientific mechanism to contain COVID-19. The Prime Minister says that the Provincial Council election will be held immediately after the general election. Quaid scraps requirement of coronavirus free certificate for Sri Lanka. More than 100,000 people throughout the globe affected with the coronavirus. And now for local news. The Colombo Fort Magistrates Court yesterday issued warrants for the arrest of former Finance Minister Ravi Karuna Naika and nine others over the Central Bank bond auctions of March 2016. The Attorney General on Tuesday directed the acting IGP to obtain arrest warrants against several suspects in the Central Bank bond scam case, including the former Finance Minister Ravi Karuna Nayaka, former Governor of the Central Bank Arjun Mahendran, Perpetual Treasuries Limited owner Arjun Aloysius, CEO Kasun Palisena, and several others on charges of conspiracy, criminal misappropriation, cheating, and market manipulation in respect to the bond auctions of March 2016. Meanwhile, it is reported that former Minister Ravi Karuna Naika is not at the residence at the moment. Our correspondent says that a person who was in the residence has informed that former minister was not at home. The police is ready to take him into custody. However, it is also reported that the former minister is ready to admit to a hospital. President Gotabe Rajapaksha has instructed members of the Special Task Force to set up and monitor, discuss preventive measures against COVID-19 virus in Sri Lanka to formulate a scientific mechanism to prevent the disease from entering the country. Sri Lanka is one of the countries in the region which has so far been successful in the battle against this global health threat due to diligent steps taken by the government and medical experts. President revealed these facts at a meeting convened at the presidential secretariat yesterday to discuss future measures to continue the positive atmosphere. The president stressed that it was the duty of the people arriving from the foreign countries to act in a socially responsible manner if they had any symptoms of this disease without hiding themselves. The president also emphasized the need of continuous promotion through the media of the health practices that should be observed to prevent the spread of the disease. If necessary, President advised the officials to provide necessary facilities, resource personnel and equipment to quarantine presence in future. For more news at home, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha says that provincial council election should be held immediately after completion of the general election. The government hopes to obtain two-third majority at this general election and to prepare a suitable constitution for the country. The Prime Minister made these comments when he met the top journalists of media institutions. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha stressed that with regard to the constitution, the 19th Amendment should be basically be removed. He pointed out that the economy was drastically gone down due to the constitutional tussle. He added that the country achieved a rapid development during his regime, including providing electricity to each household. The people should consider all these services his government has done to the country. Still on local news, Kuwait scraps requirement of coronavirus certificate for 10 countries, including Sri Lanka. The Kuwaiti government has cancelled its decision on the requirement of the certificate providing travellers from Sri Lanka and nine other countries arriving in the Gulf state are not infected with the COVID-19. The screening process was set to begin on Sunday as the deadly coronavirus continues to spread. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation of Kuwait yesterday announced that this screening process in the connection has been suspended. The list of names of the trainee graduates will be uploaded to the website of the Ministry of Public Administration on the 11th of this month. 
The appointment letter to the all qualified unemployment graduates have been already been sent by the post of the relevant addresses. The government informs that although it is mentioned in the appointment letter that the graduates should report to the relevant divisional secretariat within three days, they should not have panic regarding the deadline. In case of not receiving the appointment letters on the due date, they should not have suspicion regarding their jobs. The graduate training program will be started within five days after completion of the general election as instructed by the elections of commission. Sri Lanka Airlines has temporarily, temporarily suspended the services to China and Jeddah amidst to the coronavirus outbreak. As the threat of COVID-19 worsens globally, the flights to China will be cancelled from 10th of March to 30th of April. The services of Sri Lankan Airlines to Jeddah will also be suspended from 15th of March to 30th of April. For more news at home, Meteorology Department warns that high temperatures will prevail today as well. The Met Department said that the high temperatures in western Sabaragamur and southern provinces and Monaragala, Batiklo and Ampara districts will continue. The department stated that as per the precautionary programs already carried out, adequate water should be consumed. Overall tiring tasks and also warns warned against. The meteorolo meteorology department urges the public to be more attentive to the children, elders and the sick persons. The St. Anthony's Church Feast of Kachathivu Island will be held today. About 3,000 Indian devotees and 7,000 local devotees are expected to participate in the feast this year. Officials say that all arrangements have been finalized for the convenience of the devotees. A special bus service connected with the ferry service has also been arranged. Navy has provided many facilities including the security of the visitors. Now let's take a look at the latest updates in the sports arena. through the covers. Got him. West Indies whitewashed Sri Lanka at 2 for 0 in the T20 series with a dominant chase yesterday. Sri Lanka limped their way to 156 for 6 on a good track in Palakale, as West Indies put in a strong collective bowling effort. The target was no match for West Indies' batting might, as the visitors flew at over 10 and over in the par play, and Andrew Russells then finished the game in a hail of sixes. None of the Sri Lanka's first six partnerships were worth more than 33. West Indies were able to seize the victory in just 17 overs with seven wickets at hand. Six, that's the game. That's all the news we have for you today. Stay tuned with ITN for more updates. I'm Shanali Silva. Have a nice day.